G'day guys, it's the Wallace Kid and welcome back to the Southampton Management Series. We've reached episode 3 of season 2 of the Southampton Management Series. A youth player wants out, they can go, the facilities aren't good enough, I don't know what they want. Oh, what do they want from us? Come on. What are the toilet facilities not good enough, someone's crapping in the urine or something. But we just adjust the team, it's looking alright. Uh, Lukaku is out for 8 weeks though, so we, we did put Cork up in Lukaku's position and Lukaku is... A crucial player for this team and has been after the selling of Balotelli. We really needed him. He got injured the first game of the proper season after um, the preseason friendlies, I must say. So just editing the squad, making it as strong as we can as we head into this uh, Barclays Premier League match against Stoke City. So uh, whoever, they are a very strong squad. I always say squad. Why do I say squad? But they're a strong squad. Um, Arno Tokovic, I think that says, I can't really read it, it's not very good quality on here as I'm recording, but let's see if we can get three points from this and steal a win at St. Mary's at home. Uh, now, Kenwood Jones finds some space, finds Leon Ness, I, I, I just made up that name, his finesse shot just dribbles wide. Uh, yeah, like I said, we are really needing the points early, off in the, early on in the season, um, we don't want to end up like last season where we were really struggling for points and we dropped a few um, coming to the last games into the season. Uh, we don't want to be doing that again because, like, seriously, like, um, it, it was a tough ride. And what a tackle from Lucas Piazon. He's not known for his strength, but hits a straight, straight at Bekovic. So unlucky there. We can't pick up on the rebound. They get through again. Very lucky. Arna Tokovic takes out our defender Nathaniel Klein, puts it back. Back, ball back through to him, and like that, they're 2-0 up uh, before he just pushed it past Gazinga. I think that, oh, it's, it's Chesney in goals now. I completely forgot that. I recorded this ages ago. Our scout, Donati, finds Toko. Toko with a shot. Oof, mate. He's too good. He's too good for you. Yes, Nazu Toko from Grasshopper SC. Shushing the Stoke City fans, who are rubbing it in the face. Southampton fans, they were too... Nil up, we draw it back to 2-1, reducing their, our deficit, and what a shot, what a shot, there, Robbie Huth should have cut, um, shut us down, half time, we are 2-1 down still, I think, yeah, it's half time, 2-1 down, and we really need these three points, but Stoke City are going to make it really hard for us, Knightley finding Adam, with a cheap, cheeky lob ball over the top, but Chesney meets it, and we just, we were just giving them the ball, all the time, we, they were lucky not to, well, we were lucky for, not to concede on that opportunity. We are on the counter-attack now, Lucas Piazon finds Toko, it was, it was pretty lucky off the defender. He doesn't have the pace, but almost puts in the back of net, Bekovic was on the game. You see Al Habasi in the Australian Oman game, uh, Bekovic was keeping like that, it was just incredible that, um, that like, Australia had 70% possession and would 2 nil down at half-time, oh, just after half-time, it's just... I don't know, he was on top game, and talking about Bekovic in great form, Lucas Piazon gets an amazing goal back, um, celebrating the crowd, he's already gone up three points, I may show the squad report in the episodes to come, leave down in the comments if you'd like that, we get a bit lucky, you need the luck in FIFA, and that just goes over the bar, for a shot from Sterling, who isn't performing at his best, I may have to move him to the bench, or even to the left midfield, but he's... In the team at the moment, while Romelu Lukaku is out. And he really needs to strengthen the front line. As I saw, he's a left winger, not a striker. So that's probably why he's not performing as much. So I may drop him to left midfield. Um, a change of formation of 4-4-2. But anyway, we were taking so many shots, putting so much pressure on Bekovic. But nothing, we couldn't get anything past him. In the 90th minute, can we win? And, oh, wow. I can't believe we couldn't get that past him. The game ends. Two all, so we're lucky to draw back two goals, uh, similar to the Australian game and Oman game last night. Uh, but the next game is against Udinese. I think that's how you say it in the group stages of the is it the Euro League. I think it is the Euro League. So hopefully you can beat them. Lucas Piazon um, is happy with um, the way he's playing. He wants more game time, even though they're playing every single match. And no, it's not against Udinese. It is against Dundee United. Yeah, Crocodile Dundee, there you go, the Australian heritage in me. If you haven't seen that film, go kill yourself. And honestly, I haven't seen the film. Uh, Crocodile Dundee, it's probably, like, it just, it's not discrimination. It's very bad that I haven't, even though I'm Australian. But, anyway, let's head back into FIFA, because that's what you guys are watching. That That's what you guys want to watch. We have this 
Euro League match at St. Mary's. Let's get the three points in the group stages. I think we have Udinese. Um, can't think of any other s the teams in the our group in the Euro League, but we are sitting on top. Feyenoord, is that a is that a team? Yeah, I think that's a. I don't know how you pronounce it though. But Armstrong here gets in the box. I don't know what I'm talking about really half the time. Suzuko picks up on the rebound and just works up the field. Suzuko in the middle of the park, not known for his pace either. Um, the Frenchman gets tackled but goes back to Nazi Toko. Lucas Piazon, who's happy with playing, and oh, jeez. That second shot, we should have been able to get past the keeper. But let's intensify this. Russell on the ball. Russell, the defenders are falling all around him like dead flies. And lucky that Chesney was up to save that. Nazi Togo again wants to take the long shot, but can't. Luke Shaw! Wow! Luke Shaw! Oh my god, man. Luke Shaw. He's a left back. How is he hitting them from outside the box? Jeez. That was a quality, quality goal. We don't have a replay for that. But that goal secures the 1-0 win and the three points um, in our group stage of the Euro League. I think about this Ivory Coast contract offer. Uh, they want us for another 12 months, but the World Championship or the World Cup's over for another four years. So I just, I reject it. Like, there's no point. Like, who wants to play friendlies? I do stall it, but I end up going back and rejecting it. Next game is at the Ivy Lane to play Aston Villa, who are looking like relegation rivals. Um... In the Premier League this season. Um, I'm not sure if Southampton is actually going to stay up this season. I'll lean down if you know. Well, who, who do you think is going down? Uh, I'm thinking Aston Villa, QPR definitely, and um, let's say West Bromwich Abbey. They're going well. Who else is down the bottom? Um, I don't know. It's a tough one, really. Um, yeah, as I said, leave down in the comments who you think uh, will be like relegated this season. But I'm just trying to kill some time here as... We just, I don't know, change up the squad a bit. Uh, it's very similar to our last game. Um, putting Derrida in the squad as um, Sessegnon and Suzoko and Sterling were all a little bit tired. Uh, you never want that in the team. I also bring Steven Davis into the squad who was injured. He's back from injury. Um, so Lukaku and Ricky Lambert are both out for injury. So that's two quality strikers. Ricky Lambert coming to the end. Of um, his career, maybe not sure, but we finally come into this game. All the crap over at the Ivy Lane against Aston Villa. Now the Aston Villa fans are very strong and want to get their own way, but we were de dedicated to win on the stoppage time at the 45th minute, the best minute of the game. Jack Cork steps inside and almost gets his first goal. Playing up front, he's been playing so well. Head in the sheds, being booed by the Aston Villa fans. Up yours. Um, one, it's not 1-0, nil, it's nil all. But Derrida, angered by the booing at halftime, makes a run, takes a brilliant touch, does well to keep it in, crosses it in, finds Jack Cork in the middle, and yeah, up yours! Up yours, Aston Villa! That's what you get, mate. A trip to Ivy Lane shouldn't be this hard, um, especially against this strong, uh, um, not Aston Villa, this strong Southampton squad we do have. Ogbonna just putting it over the bar. He's still without a goal for our club. He got sent off in the first match. Uh, we're, we're friendlies. They get a bit lucky here and just bloody hell. Darren Bent picks up a very scrappy goal. I'm not sure why the hell they got that. Some EA crap. Um, Jack Cork again. He was playing so well this match. Um, I'm not sure who the Aston Villa goalkeeper is, but he was troubling the whole time. Who he felt was taken out then. But our scout Jones just can't hit, pick it past Friedel. Is it Friedel? Not sure. Uh, Ogbonner again, a similar opportunity, just dribbling to the left of the goal. Now, a scout, Jones, is consistent on their back line, putting pressure on. Wins it off M Munez, is that? Santiago Munez, no, it's not him. Davis finds in the middle, and that just dribbles wide. Unlucky there that we can't pick up that. And the game ends 1 all. Um, so it was really lucky. Jack Hawk, a 9.8 match rating, I think I saw there. Austria won us as their international manager. But I also reject that. I'm just not taking any more managerial offers at the moment. Uh, and we have, finally, a South Coast rivalry match. Now, you, I'm not going to say the biggest rivals, but that South Coast, like, the best team on the South Coast should be Southampton. I'm going to try to prove Portsmouth that they don't deserve to be in this Capital One Cup. And they don't deserve to be on the South Coast. Southampton is the best team on the South Coast. We need to prove that to Portsmouth. Their fans, and even our fans, it is St. Mary's. So they're going to be struggled there. Um, very close to stadiums, but 
Still, it's St. Mary's, and it's really hard to win at St. Mary's, as we saw against Manchester City when they lost 3-1. Jeez, you guys knew that. Toko finds a ball. Lucas Piazon down the... Is that right? Yeah, right side flank. Uh, crosses it in and finds the head of Suzuko, but... Nice save there by the keeper. I'm not sure who he is. Suzuko down the middle again. He's a huge part of the team at the moment. Finds Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling gets behind the defense. Too much pace. Cuts back inside. Open goal. One on one. You're not going to miss them. That cut back is so overpowered. It's ridiculous. Running with the defense. Cut back. You one on one with the keeper. Just put it side of him and you got a goal. Lucas Piazza now finds Sterling. Making an amazing run. Past the defense again. And just puts it at the keeper that time. Unlucky that he couldn't score there. Luke Shaw, I don't know what the hell he was doing up this far of the field. But he can't get a pass. Halftime, we have in the sheds. 1-0. South Hebron fans are ahead over the Portsmouth fans. That awkward conversation. Why are you taking a piss in the urinal? We'll be taking place. Um, but it won't be. It'll, it'll be a bitter conversation. Um. I'm not sure if it was me. Conversation at all. I'm not what I'm talking. I don't know what I'm talking about. Pick up the ball through Luke Shaw from the bar line. Finds Belhanda. Belhanda goes himself. Wants to go himself. Wants to prove the Southampton fans that his gold drought isn't going to last. He's run the whole pitch. Takes a shot. And that's really unlucky. We were troubling their goalkeeper. We always do. But we're really unlucky with the... Uh, just the clinical finishing. Lucas Piazon gets the ball in a miracle position. And if he didn't put that in, he would have been crucified by not only me, but the board and maybe the media. Because the media always like to get involved. Uh, involved. There's 2 0 up. So, and we do not want to stop the harshness here. Harshness is that word, Raheem Sterling, just putting it to the left of the goal. That's how the game ends. We win the rivalry match this time. We got the bagging rights over Portsmouth. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys have a nice day. It's. Sweet outside. Yeah, just just go enjoy yourself. See you later.